Thomas Brown. Um, well, Minister, as you know, in January uh, I put a motion to the House to establish immediately a commission of investigation into the Stardust tragedy of 1981, um, and uh, uh, you opposed that, uh, and the government opposed that, and uh, obviously now we have this uh, look back, a second look back, uh, and I understand that my distinguished predecessor as a deputy for Dublin North East and the distinguished former judge, uh, um, uh, Judge McCartan, um, is the independent person who has been selected, um, and we also hear reports in the media that uh, the, the Commission has to take 90, or his investigations take 90 days, or his look back has take 90 days, it will cost 114,000 and so on. So what is the current status? Thank you, Deputy. Uh, Judge McCartan began his work on Monday the 27th of March, and it is hoped that he conclude his assessment process within the 90-day period. Um, the Government agreed on the 7th of March to appoint Judge McCartan to assess any new and updated evidence uncovered by the Stardust Relatives and Victims Committee in order to recommend whether there should be a commission of investigation, um, another one, into the Stardust tragedy of 1981. Uh, that will be conducted, and I want to say this completely independently of government, and I want to thank Judge McCartan, uh, as you say, a very distinguished judge. I want to thank him, former judge. I want to thank him for uh, being willing to do this. Um, the scope of the assessment process, Deputy, you'll be very familiar with because it was outlined in the Dole motion uh, of the 26th of January. Judge McCartan will be assisted uh, by junior counsel. In addition, the Stardust Relatives and Victims Committee may obtain sanction from the judge to avail of appropriate representation, if necessary, in order to, prevent its, to present its evidence to the judge, and to, the, to facilitate the assessment process, office accommodation and meeting facilities have been obtained um, by the um, Department of Justice uh, in, in Dublin. Uh, in Haddington Road. An email address has been provided by judge, uh, to Judge McCartan and forwarded to the Stardust Relatives and Victims Committee for the purpose of facilitating contact between Judge McCartan and the committee. Now, Judge McCartan, I want to make this point, will have the discretion to afford the committee whatever representation he believes is necessary in order for the, the committee to present its evidence to the assessment process. The relevant daily rates payable will be set by my department the costs will be borne by the Exchequer, and uh, the requirement for representation will most likely be dependent on the nature of the evidence to be presented uh, to Judge McCartan. As I say, he's begun his work uh, on Monday, the 27th. Uh, uh, of March, and in parallel with the assessment process, my department has met with the committee and its advisers on a number of occasions in relation to historical fees uh, that the committee claims are owed to it. Um, the committee believes that the Exchequer should be liable for payment of those fees and has threatened to refuse to engage with the proposed uh, Judge McCartan process if the historical fees issue is not resolved. I do want to say to you, Deputy, that I would hope that discussions will be ongoing in relation uh, to that, and it is my department's intention that these discussions remain separate from the proposed Thank Judge you. McCartan process. Thank you, Minister. Thanks, uh, Cahirlo. Uh, well, there is a huge uh, uh, body of evidence, as you know, Minister, uh, going right back to the, I think, the mid-1980s, um, and uh, uh, following the Keane report, with which obviously uh, the area I represent was very unhappy with, um, uh, through um, obviously books like the, 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 the famous book "They Never Came Home" by Tony McCulloch, Neil Featherston, uh, the RT investigations, uh, Miss Rita O'Reilly, um, the work of the committee themselves, and indeed the Coffee report which demolished, I think it's fair to say, the Keane uh, report. Will, will Judge McCartan uh, be re reviewing the whole impact of all of that evidence? And in relation to new, uh, you know, constantly people would co uh, contact uh, people on the committee and uh, people like myself in relation to new, newer evidence. Now, you mentioned there there's, a, there's an email address, but will there be a website? Will there be contact details where uh, people who would ring up and say uh, they knew where the storeroom was or they saw, uh, you know, they, they felt there was something wrong with the electrics. Will, will there be um, a process whereby those people can engage with, with Judge McCartan? Well, um, we've, we've set up the, um, we've set up the, 
uh, this uh, part of the work, uh, very much based on the, uh, what was discussed in the Dáil, the motion in the Dáil. Um, I think what's important now is that Judge McCartan has, you know, has offices, has the support, has an email address. Uh, that I've made it very clear about the evidence that the committee may have and the fact that they can get uh, representation and that we would hope to deal with the historical issue as well. Uh, um, and I think that Judge McCartan will address the issues now that you've raised there, and I've no doubt that he will be making uh, public uh, the precise you know, scope, making it clear to people. Uh, whether or not there is an opportunity for them to present evidence other than the committee. Um, no doubt he will address those issues and make that information uh, publicly available. I would say um, at the department's most recent meeting with the committee uh, in the context of the historical fees issue, that was on the 15th of March, uh, the department indicated that there may be scope to make provision for some payment based on the differential uh, between the amount sought following the coffee process and the amount that was paid out at that time. <clears throat> However, the Department has emphasised, and Deputy, I think you'd understand this, that um, a case has to be made uh, before state money could be, pay, uh, you, could be paid out. And, uh, uh, Minister, is, is there ongoing liaison between the Department uh, and the Victims' Relatives Committee? And wh what's been the outcome of, I think, recent meetings uh, that took place between Minister Finney and McGrath um, and, and me members of the Committee? Uh, in a general sense, as you know, I think the, the, uh, the wider Coolock area and the hundreds of families who are affected and all their relatives down through the decades, uh, there is a feeling, again, that uh, people need uh, justice and closure. I, th I thought the best way to do that would have been to have had an immediate commission of investigation, <laughs> uh, but uh, you are saying that in uh, 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 Judge McCartan, former Deputy McCartan, that he will look at uh, all relevant information and, and encourage the public. I know, for example, Cahir looked at, um, uh, there is there is already a Facebook page uh, uh, for a long time now, Justice for the Stardust uh, 48, uh, from uh, Miss Antonia Keegan and, and her committee, where people are encouraged to bring forward uh, information, but uh, w will it be a scoping? which will include the widest possible encouragement of people who, even 30 years after attending a function there, can ring me up and say, I have important new information. Thanks, uh, no, Let, Let's be very clear that, you know, um, that the government agreed to appoint Judge McCartan to assess any new uh, and updated evidence uncovered by the Stardust Relatives and Victims Committee in order to recommend whether there should be a commission of investigation, um, whether it should be established again into the Stardust uh, tragedy of 1981. Um, it's going to be done completely independently of government, but obviously the, uh, the work that was done here in the Dáil, the terms of reference, are going to guide that work. Um, in relation to the, um, the, uh, the discussions with the committee, um, the most recent meeting was uh, on the 15th of March, and the department indicated, I've already said to you about the department indicated at that meeting uh, about the, the possibility of some en you know, engagement and some provision for some payment uh, based on the differential between the amount sought following the coffee uh, process and the amount that was paid. Um, the committee decided at that time to leave that meeting. Um, however, my department uh, is committed, I do want to say to you, uh, is committed to continuing uh, its engagement with the uh, committee in relation to its claim uh, regarding the historical monies Thank that you, are owed. Uh, 